Put it unless you want. In the smoker. I'm gonna put it. That bacon looks nice and crispy. Oh man, they are delicious, guys. Hey, welcome back, all you backyard grillers. Today we're going to be making this very simple but delicious appetizer, guys. All you need is a packet of these Hillshire Farms Little Smokies, a packet of bacon, a few toothpicks, and your favorite uh, barbecue rub. You're gonna need a little bit of brown sugar. So to make these things, they're gonna be savory, they're gonna be sweet, they're gonna be smoky, they're gonna be delicious, guys. So let me get these things out of the packages and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So what I did is I cut the bacon into three inch strips. And this is very simple, guys. Just get uh, one of the little smokies, just put it on top of the bacon. You can do it with two hands. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm filming, so I wanna keep a clean hand. You grab a toothpick, set it to the side. Get another piece of bacon, put it down. Toothpick and such. Okay, let me finish the the rest of them uh, off camera, and then uh, I'll show you what they look like when they're all said and done. All right, so it took me roughly about twenty to twenty five minutes to wrap all these little smokies with with uh, bacon. It's not hard at all; it's just a little time consuming. Just be careful; you don't want to poke your fingers with a toothpick. Uh, it does hurt, so just be a little go a little slow. Um, one packet of bacon is not enough for a whole uh, pack of these little smokies. As you can see, I, I had a few left over. So I would say if you're going to make a whole packet, get uh, two packs of bacon uh, and you should be good to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, Honey Hog Barbecue Rub from uh, by Meat Church. I used it last night. I smoked some baby bags. And let me tell you guys, from a 1 to 10, I give this a 9. Go ahead and watch that other video if you're interested. But... It's this is very good. It's got some sweet to it. It's got some spice, not not uh, uh, heat, but it's just it's savory. That's my point. So you just want to go. You can add as much or as little as you want. Now, we are gonna use some brown sugar uh, with this cook, but I'm not gonna add it just yet. Like I said, the, the meat church rub does have some honey in it, some honey powder. So, you know, brown sugar, when you expose it to heat, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna burn, right? So I'm just gonna wait until mid, uh, midway through the cook, and then I'm gonna add the brown sugar. It's gonna be delicious, guys. Let me go outside, get that uh, pit going, and uh, we'll be right back. Guys, while I'm waiting for the pit to come up to temp, I highly recommend that you use one of these uh, wire racks and a, a baking a baking sheet or a baking pan, whatever you want to call them. I like to wrap them in tin foil just to make cleanup a lot easier. And this rack makes moving them around a heck of a lot easier. So if you want to be there, uh, you know, flipping one by one, that's up to you. But uh, I highly recommend this setup. All right guys, let's go to the backyard. Today we're going to be cooking on the Masterbuilt 560 and we're gonna run it with some BNB lump charcoal and we're gonna use cherry wood chunks for additional flavor. I set the temp to uh, 350 degrees. I don't think you can see it with the sun, but uh, anyway, it's not quite there yet. And as soon as it hits temp, then uh, I'll show you what I do next. The pit is at 350 degrees, guys, and what I'm gonna do is open the lid and just pop them in the smoker. I'm gonna put them here in the middle rack and put them to bed. So now that the smokies are inside of the pit at 350 degrees, we're going to check them at 
in about 45 minutes guys because 350 is a little bit of a high heat and we don't want them to burn so see you in 45 45 minutes into the cook guys let's turn off this timer here we go let's check it out Ooh, look at that nice and smoky so all we really want is uh, the bacon to get crispy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle some brown sugar and I'm gonna let them sit for another 40 to 45 minutes look at that guys maybe uh, there you can appreciate it a little bit better it's not as bright so what I did is ju I just got an empty uh, shaker I put some uh, brown sugar in it I'm just gonna sprinkle the sugar on top So I got a little frustrated because uh, the shaker didn't work like I wanted to. So what I started doing is I got some in my hand. And there you go. And this is what they're supposed to look like. Let me pop them in the smoke and I'll be right back guys. All right, so they're in the smoke, back in the smoker. We're gonna shut the lid and I I did crank it to uh, 375 so we're gonna check them in about 40 minutes so stay tuned got the pit boss going we're gonna grill some chicken and over here we're uh, smoking some little smokies wrapped in bacon topped with some uh, brown sugar okay 45 minutes at 375 Look at that. They look awesome. That bacon looks nice and crispy. That brown sugar is melting down very nice. So I'm just gonna, at this point, I'm gonna shut off the smoker and then I'm gonna take them inside, let them cool off for a little bit. Then we'll taste them. Check it out guys, 45 minutes at 375. And look at that, that bacon looks nice and crispy. That brown sugar just melted on top of it. I'm going to take them inside, let them cool for a little bit, then we're going to taste them. All right, guys, so I let these puppies cool off for a little bit and check it out, man. 45 minutes at 350 degrees and 45 minutes at 375. And this is what you get. They smell fantastic. So I'm going to give them a taste and we'll see what we think about them. So let's give it a taste. Oh man, they are delicious guys. I'm surprised how simple this recipe is. They're sweet, they're smoky, they're savory. What more do you want? Guys, you saw how simple it was to prepare these things. I mean, it took me about, what, 25 minutes just to wrap them up in bacon. Uh, I showed you uh, what you need, which is also very simple. And it took uh, really not, no time at all, guys. And uh, definitely give this a try if you, if you want, guys. If you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button and uh, give us a like, guys. Really do appreciate it. Thank you.